Dragon Age Origins is a good RPG, but it is not known for having good summoning or necromancy. In the vanilla game, the only summon I'm aware of is the Animate Dead spell, which is unfortunately very mediocre. You cast it on a humanoid corpse to get a skeleton minion that lives for a very short time. I don't remember exactly how long because it's been years since I bothered with it, but anyone looking for serious necromancy here will be disappointed. You're also restricted to one minion at a time with it. Luckily there's a great mod that transforms the game into a summoner friendly game. Specifically, a necromancy friendly game. The Conjuration mod by Leon Fenton adds an entirely new magic school for mages, the Conjuration School. It gives you four new spells, Summon Spirit Healer, Summon Skeletal Warrior, Summon Skeletal Rogue, and Summon Skeletal Mage. The Spirit Healer is useless in battle but has powerful healing spells, while the other three are for combat. The spells come in four tiers and you can unlock a new tier every five levels. With each new tier unlocked, you also unlock a minion slot. Before level five, you will only be able to have one minion. Then at level five, you can have two. At level 10, you can get a third minion, and at level 15, a fourth. This means you end up with a total of four minions. This is a fantastic improvement over the base game, which only gave you about zero minions. Summoning minions reserves a portion of your mana, so you'll need lots of willpower to have a large enough mana pool to be able to support multiple minions. This makes me very happy because it forces your summoner to be a summoner above all else. Choosing a large minion army will leave you with hardly any mana for your own spells and attacks. There's some interesting mechanics in this mod. And I honestly cannot tell you if they're features or bugs, but I have an idea. At first glance, they may seem a bit strange, but they seem to help to balance the minions well. For example, if you only have one minion out, you can control it directly and use its abilities. However, the moment you make a second minion, you can still control it, but you can no longer use its abilities. Only the AI of the minion itself is capable of using the abilities when multiple minions are out on the field. So if you want multiple minions, you'll have to do a good job at programming the AI of the minions using the tactics panel. Here's where it gets even more interesting. The undead minions do not have many tactics slots available, so will be unable to use all of their abilities on their own. The Skeleton Warrior has five abilities, but is only able to use three of them at his own volition, because he only has three tactic slots. Even more interesting is that the Spirit Healer minion has some very powerful healing spells. Spells like Mass Heal and Lifeguard, which you would normally not get until relatively late in the game. But she has no tactic slots available at all, or at least I couldn't find any for her. This means that she is only useful if she is the only minion you're using and you must control her directly. At first this might seem like some kind of bug, but after some thought and experimentation, I now believe it's actually a feature. You are simply not meant to use the spirit healer alongside other minions. If you were able to, it would probably be overpowered. Due to these features, it becomes clear that for you to make effective use of your necrotic minions, you'll likely have to create different custom presets and change them to suit different situations. For example, you can have two skeleton warriors. You could also have more, but this is just an example. I set up one of them to use indomitable and threatened skills. This means he can't be knocked down and enemies are drawn to attack him. Both of these abilities are passive, and I only have three tactic slots. So I give him Sunder Armor as a final ability. This preset will cause the warrior to tank well. Next, I configure my second warrior to be doing a DPS roll. I tell him to use Sunder Armor, Mighty Blow, and Sunder Arms. You'll have to make similar decisions for the mage and rogue minions and swap out the presets according to the situations.
This might annoy some, but I personally enjoy this type of minion management and, as I said before, it helps balance the minions that they are incapable of using all their abilities on their own. So with this fantastic mod, let's examine how things stack up. You get plentiful minions. Four is a good amount for this game because they're highly configurable and useful minions. Your minions are permanent. They will persist forever unless you somehow no longer have the mana to support them. This is fantastic. Your minions are useful. All of them perform like a weaker squad member and have proper abilities. You can configure tactics for your minions that complement one another. For example, telling mages to freeze an enemy, then setting warriors to hit frozen enemies using mighty blow so that they shatter and instantly die. Other combinations are possible. Few games offer this kind of potential with AI. Your summoner is also helpless about his minions. A wonderful thing indeed. Your mana is all in reserve to keep the minions around, leaving you helpless and dependent on them. I love it. So in conclusion, this mod is a good mod for necromancers. It brings undead minions to a game that originally didn't support them and makes a pure summoner build work quite nicely. Beacon is over here. We've surely missed the signal. Let's light it quickly before it's too late. 